Hello fragrance specialists! My name is Chance, welcome to my guide, and thank you so much for taking a look at another one of our essential oil breakdowns. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most coveted and prized essential oils on the mass market. We are looking at sacred frankincense. This is, as far as I can recall, one of the most expensive oils we've covered on this series. And I think it's actually the most expensive oil that I own. Maybe with maybe with like one exception. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to double check, but it's certainly up there for sure. Let me assure you though, myself as well as many other aromatherapists believe that this is worth every penny. If you agree or disagree, let me know down beneath and let me know why, but I find it sent to be almost unrivaled, to be honest. I don't really use it a whole lot, mostly because I'm kind of prudish with how much of the oil I use, and I really don't want to have to pay that price tag consistently, but it is certainly nice every time I have used it. In any case, always consult your doctor before use, as we say with every video. Now, with that kind of rambling intro, I guess, out of the way, let's dive into its profile. Sacred frankincense is described as having a balsamic, rich, warm, slightly spicy, sweet, and woody aroma. It is most commonly used for anxiety, asthma, bronchitis, extreme coughing, scars, stress, and stretch marks. It is steam distilled and blends well with black cumin, cedarwood, lavender, lemon, rose, sandalwood, and lang lang. Please do check out the playlist for those videos as well. And under notes, it can be a skin irritant if oxidized. Much like all the other frankincenses, this is relatively safe for use, but there are going to be some rare people out there who react violently towards it for whatever reason, so always make sure you're practicing caution and proper dilution. Now let's dive Dive into its history. The finest and most highly prized frankincense resin is produced by Boswiella sacra species, which grows in Uman. Uman has a reputation for producing superior quality frankincense trees that deliver the highest grade resin, the resin reserved for royalty. Today, frankincense trees in the Dufar region of Oman are regarded as a gift from God, and those whose lands they grow on are considered exceedingly blessed. Oman is the greatest and most fertile land on the Arabian Peninsula. Peninsula, jeez. Really messing up my pronunciation of things today. I do apologize, guys, but in any case... There are some concerns here and there as it relates to the prosperity of the species in that particular region. The reason being is it's relatively limited and they are hesitant to export it for, in all honesty, cost reasons. If there's more of it being produced, then they won't be able to charge as much for it. In any case, though, as far as I'm aware, there haven't been any signs of them approaching endangerment or extinction, so it's relatively safe there, but the oil, it's pricey. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it. Well over $100 in some cases. I do believe that Rocky Mountain Oil has it listed for $111 currently, somewhere around there. I consider it to be worth every penny, however... If it's something you're going to be using regularly, I might swap it out for another type of frankincense. I don't know. In any case, let's dive into a recipe here. This recipe is meant to help with irritable skin. It is 4 drops sacred frankincense, 2 drops myrrh, 3 drops tea tree, and 1 tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. Mix it all together, put some drops in the palm of your hand, and just rub it into the aff afflicted areas. Pretty simple stuff. I really do love the simpler recipes. In any case, if you want to add this oil to your collection, please do so using Rocky Mountain Essential Oils. Links down beneath in the description. And as always, if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns regarding sacred frankincense, please put it down beneath in the comment sections, and be sure to mention any recipes you have as well. That being said, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, may all of your future endeavors smell divine.